Hey, here he is. Come on in, Roberto. Come and join us. I bet you thought we'd all forgotten what day it was today. Oh, oh, you remembered. Uh, well, I take back what I said about you, Mr. Machina. <laughs> oh, well, happy birthday, matey. You know, we had a huge whip round from all the commanders at the station, and uh, we got you absolutely sod all. <laughs> Oh dear, oh dear. I hate you. You make a poor Roberto's life so difficult. I used to be a such a happy-go-lucky kind of guy. And then I took this job. Oh, really? Oh, you're just lucky you're not still in that escape pod. You know, if I had my Sir, way, you'd... you really must learn to forgive and forget. Besides, the Anaconda was my ship, if you remember. And Mr. Medina will be reimbursing me for my loss. Uh, yeah, yeah, of course I will, JK. Well, I'll tell you what. As a birthday treat, I'll show you the finished version of our promotional video for Machines for Hire. How about that? Once this beauty airs, it's going to go viral. And the viewing numbers, they'll be going through the roof. We'll be so popular that people will be jumping at the chance to subscribe to our service. Oh, wow. Uh, Roberto can hardly contain his excitement to own it. Hi there, I'm Commander Machine, founder and owner of Machines for Hire. Are you tired of the constant grind for credits? Maybe you have a hangar full of ships just sitting collecting dust just on the off chance that you might need them one day for a specific mission? Or are you just simply bored of having to visit the Guardian ruins every five minutes just to upgrade your modules with those annoying engineers and tech brokers? Well, here at Machines for Hire, we have the solution. Our vast fleet of ships are all kitted out and ready to take on any job that is required. Whether it's transporting bio waste from a backed up station to taking out the local crime lord for interdicting you one too many times. Maybe you have some passengers that require a discreet delivery with no questions asked. If so, then why not drop in and meet our friendly staff and let us do all the hard work on your behalf, freeing you up to do something more exciting. But don't just take my word for it. This is Willy Stroker. He needed some sensitive data retrieving from a private network with no questions asked. I mistakenly clicked on a link and ended up on an adult website. In a blind panic, I somehow managed in the space of a month to accidentally spend over one million credits on dozens of women who were either lonely or just needed someone to talk to. I soon realized I was in too deep and needed help. I called Machines for Hire, and in no time at all, they visited the station, swooped in, and removed all traces from their computer systems. I was worried that the wife would find out about my innocent mistake, but it's like it never even happened. I can now sleep easy with the knowledge that if I accidentally click the wrong link again, I need only to call Machines for Hire, and they'll come to the rescue. Mr. Stroker wasn't the only person we helped. Eileen Ulick always wanted to get up close to a black hole and see what wonders she was missing out on. But experiences like this are not cheap. I've been fascinated by black holes ever since my college days. I used to spend hours looking at them in magazines and online as a teenager, just longing for the day I could see one with my own two eyes. But I could never quite afford it. And before I knew it, real life got in the way. 
and it was just a distant memory. That was until I saw an advert for Machines for Hire. I couldn't believe it. They were offering space tours throughout the Milky Way at prices that were so cheap I just had to do it. My husband wasn't really into black holes so I left him at home. It was the best decision of my life and it was so exhilarating. I enjoyed it so much. I've already booked up to visit a bigger one. So, as both Woody Stroker and Eileen Ulick can attest to, we offer a service which is unrivaled. So don't delay. Call Machines for Hire today. Well, <laughs> what do you think, guys? <laughs> One more time. <laughs> One more time. Hold on a second. Roberto needs a moment. I can't even say this line. <laughs> Come on, <bro. laughs> Okay. I'm sorry, machine. drink after work maybe I mean take your time you don't have to answer straight away greetings Augustus Lucius Buchanan the <laughs> third or would you prefer me to call you by your commander name <laughs> Augustus oh, no wonder you changed it to Mr. Machina uh, yeah, um, well, Commander Machine's fine. How do you know my real name? I've not used that since I was a kid. Uh, yes, I know. But your automaton JK informs me that you have a rather unique guest on board. I have looked into this matter, and I believe I shall have some on, interesting Shane. information for you soon. So, while we are waiting for that information to be processed... I wonder if you would mind doing a little favour for me. Well, why don't you send your nephew? He's normally your go-to guy, isn't he? <laughs> Very droll, Commander. However, Turgeon is currently unavailable. He is handling a family matter on my behalf. But the favour I am asking of you, on the other hand, is one that I am happy to delegate to other trusted third parties. <laughs> uh, why is he asking of you, then? Wait, shut it. Ah, Mr. Roberto Medina, son of Eduardo Medina, born 3267 in the Pastara system. I do, in fact, have an answer for your question. You see, while you were busy flying your Imperial Cutter without insurance and subsequently destroying it, Commander Machine was busy assisting Starstone Industries in saving Christmas, and for that reason I consider him to be a person of interest. Although it must be said that his methods can be rather special sometimes. However, with the expert guidance of his automaton here, I am sure that the mission will be a success. Hmm. Well, whilst I'm grateful for the kind words, Mr. Starstone, I am rather busy with trying to get our new venture off the ground. I do have other clients to think about, you know. 
Oh, do not concern yourself with such minor details, dear boy. I had Gladys take care of your appointment schedule for you, until you have completed this small task for me. Oh, well, uh, if you insist, I guess I don't have much of a choice then. So, what can machines for hire do for you, Mr. Starstone? My dear Commander Machine, there is always a choice. You just have to make sure that you have chosen wisely. The mission particulars will be uploaded to your ship's computer shortly. Oh yes, one last thing. JK-72, activate Directive 4 if you would be so kind. I do believe that the time is now appropriate for you to enlighten young Augustus here. Very good, sir. Activating Directive 4, as requested. Directive 4? What's he going on about, JK? Sir, this could take some time. You might want to sit down. 